explore this a little bit further, then we'll get into some practical application uh, how do we use serendipity on a daily basis. Um, what? Hey, look at that smile. That was a husky boy who you lost. Life's good for you. <laughs> of course, I'm emotionally unattached to any of it, so. Um, where did we leave off? Where were we? We were on 11. We did 12? Well, we just finished So we were on 12. Okay, so who. Who, did, who, was, who are our 12 group? Okay, tell us what you think about this one. In every single seeming tragedy, it's given the fruit of glory and reward. And that immediately made me think about my divorce. It's tragic for a lot of people, but it was probably the best thing that's ever happened since that divorce. Ever? Well, besides the birth of my children, but that wasn't tragic. <laughs> but. I it had, seemed like a tragedy at the time. <laughs> it seemed like a tragedy at the time. But the more I looked back on it, <coughs> the last two years that we lived together, I had migraines three or four times a week that would knock me in bed almost all day long. And since he walked out, not had a single at migraine. So he was the cause of he your migraines. He was migraine. the cause of my migraines. I think that even though my life a lot of people is a lot more stressful and hard now. For me, it's a lot better and easier. Okay. Um, can you, do you have anything that's like personal? That's a great story. Do you have anything else to add to that? Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, the first thing that came to my mind was when I was laid off from my job. Um, I was devastated by that, and I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, but it's actually been a blessing. So now I'm decided to go to school full time instead of part time. I'm around more for my son. My son is doing a lot better in school. Me around more. And I never would have thought I'm going to quit my job and live off loans and go to school full time. I never, I never would have thought that. So I'm glad. I really like the quote. There's a quote, and I'm going to massacre it, I'm sure, by Richard Bach. It's in this book called The Ruins. And it goes something like this. Um, the mark of our ignorance... Um, let's see. The mark of our ignorance is based on our belief in... Mark of our ignorance is not destroyed. Based on the, the belief, on our belief in um, death and tragedy, what the um, what the butter what the what the caterpillar calls death, the butterfly calls freedom. So, uh, we we are we get really wrapped up in how awful things really are, when in reality at a wider perspective, maybe not so much. And I think those are two good examples. Man, how awful must have been to have been laid off. Except maybe it wasn't so awful. How awful must have been to go through divorce. Except maybe it wasn't so awful. Mike? Yes. So how do you get to that awful part until you realize, hey, that was a good thing. That's the so, how I would answer that is um, trust that it's all good anyway. Trust that that's the, the essence of it is it's all good. And when it's happening, just have that be your consciousness. <coughs> there must be something here for me. That's okay. It's good. It's going to come out of it even though right now I'm creating it bad. 
I mean, it feels bad to me right now, whatever I'm creating, whatever drama. But if you have the right perspective, if you, if you live with this perspective, which is a wider view, then you just trust, okay, it's weird. Something good's going to happen. I remember one time when somebody said to me, we were, we were talking about this in a meeting somewhere, and somebody said, man, we have so many tragedies, we have so many problems in life. And, and, uh, and somebody said, asked the question, was anyone in here really not have too many tragedies, too many problems? And, and I actually raised my hand. I said, you know, I don't have bad things happen to me. And the lady said, well, you just look at things differently. Like there was something wrong with me for, for looking at things in a different point of view when things happen. There's a reason for it. But I don't get all wrapped up in the drama and the, oh, how awful it must be. Because I'm sure that I'm not the one running the show. Thirteen. Who's our thirteen groups? Be ready for the unexpected and catalyzed by spontaneous happenings, which are part of the natural order of things. Um, we kind of looked at this one like I don't know. I, I when I first read this, I kind of thought, you know, things happen whether they're good or bad, and you can either you can either be I don't know upset about bad things or you can, I don't know. Look at it. Yeah, we don't have control of everything. Because that's just how things happen naturally. That's what we think about. Because it's natural order. Things just happen. So, I don't know. Like, one of the examples we were kind of thinking of natural things, like there's weather or there's kind of, like when you grow up, girls, we get hips. You just deal with it. <laughs> you don't have control of it. You can sit and complain about it or you can... Raise it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, I, I like the when you think of the natural order of things. Every year, about this time, everything starts to die outside. You know, it starts to, and by mid-November, by beginning of December, pretty much everything is is of of these plants, flowers, grass, dead. Nobody complains about that because they know that it's going to turn back into the life again. And it's just the natural order of things. Um, accepting that. Accepting that. Sorry. <laughs> I heard. It's far away. Any other thoughts about that? I mean, when you, uh, to everyone else, too. When you look at that sentence, what what comes to mind? Tantalized by spontaneous happenings. Isn't that good? Isn't that a cool mindset? I wonder what cool things are going to happen today. Changes your whole outlook. I wonder what cool things that I haven't planned for are going to happen today. And when you do, it's, oh, that's what was supposed to happen. Instead of, oh, it's supposed to happen, that's not my plan. It's a beautiful idea. Okay, 14. Serendipity is involved in all life and all time and part of nature's life. Um, something that we've thought of in all life, but you can't really predict what aspect of your life is going to happen. It can happen in your love life, your school, your career, your social life. It's just anything. 
else talked about the idea of you know one 